So this is uh, Ashley, met her on Tinder, gonna slam her tonight for sure. And uh, just got her impression with a little bit of lifting first and we'll go from there. And she brought me snacks. Got that moose juice. Yeah, moose juice and a moose flapjack. Now this is from Britain. I feel like I need to explain to British people what a flapjack is <laughs> because a flapjack is not it's not a granola bar a flapjack is a pancake made with flour yeah that looks like a cliff bar or something right? yeah anyway fantastic if you're in the uk i back these guys seriously they, they don't really give me anything other than this um muscle moose check them out it's going well strong like a moose <laughs> we have a three by two dumbbell at 115 kilos then we have two by eight, supposed to be at 105, but without being able to put it down, we're having to lower it to the shoulder and then down, that's gonna be a big ask. Uh, then we got yoke, we'll run something like 400, 420 kilos. Uh, really good video by MSC Systems on my yoke. Um, pretty interesting. It's funny, because when you're naturally good at something, you don't really put a lot of thought behind what you're doing, you just do it. Uh, so. I'm gonna put a reaction video out to that eventually. And um, yeah, give a few of my insights, but he did like a 13 minute video. I'm like, I don't think I've thought about my yoke technique for 13 minutes in total <laughs> across my career. So um, that was really good though. Thanks to him for that. Ooh, ageless male. Male enhancement supplement. Ashley, do I need ageless male? Oh, be the man you want to be. How good. <laughs> You're going to meet Mel today, who's uh, the newest employee at Longevity. And she doesn't drink coffee. She really doesn't do much caffeine. And it made me do a self audit on the amount of caffeine I have. And I was like, holy Christ. What would you say your intake is right now, like per day? Like a gram and a half. <laughs> it's it's pretty next level like i've got a bit of a headache today from like 700 grams or 700 milligrams Ooh. <sighs> trying out the right hand i don't think i'll be ready to use it at arnold's probably not in glasgow but long term i think it'll be a useful thing not at all for uh, imbalances like it, it cracks me up when people say that like if you're a baseball pitcher you should have imbalances uh, if, if you're doing the dumbbell you should be better on one side but when you get eight nine ten reps and the legs are okay but just the shoulders so tired to hold it up to be able to go say you're aiming for ten to go two one two one two one would be like, that would be fantastic to be able to have that rhythm but uh, it's really challenging, really awkward. It takes you back to the first time you do it. Um, but yeah, yeah, just giving it a sus. I don't feel pretty good today so far. Ashley, if you were to give uh, life advice to the people, what would your life advice be? Watch Road to Rogue. They already are. If you gave them life advice, what would it be? Just be nice to people. And lift heavy. And be kind.
that I need to work on the most? Hard to say, really hard to say. My, my bag toss performance was bad, but I think that was because just bad strategy more than anything. Like I think, I think it'd, be, it'd be a good event for me if I paced it out better. I'll have the chance to, to run it back at, at Arnold's, but it's getting to the stage where I've done most things, I've been okay at most things. I just need to improve overall, really. Uh, Stones would have been a good answer. That went well at Shaw. Um, Dumbbell has improved a lot. Log has been going really well. Strict press, 152 kilos for five reps. A couple of months ago, 160 kilos was my, my max strict press. So that's really coming along. Um, yeah, look, I think static strict pressing is sort of where I lose out because I'm a little bit smaller. But... Uh, Smaller than me, yeah. Alexi is, if I had to guess, he's 300 pounds. And five foot, I'm gonna call him five foot 11. I'm not gonna give him six feet. <laughs> he's one world's strongest man. Isn't that enough? Very comfortable. Yeah, right on better and better each week. I could do a YOLO, because both at Rogue and at Arnold, sorry, at Arnold and at Giants Live, 100 kilo dumbbell for reps in 75 seconds. All right, guys, quick cutaway. Big thank you to our sponsor, Bolton Foods, premium meats, stay hormone free like me. Take a look. Big thank you to Bolton Foods for helping out with the video. Tonight, I had myself some Atla Atlantic salmon caught from Norwegian seas in the open water. This seriously is the closest thing I have to a secret to help you guys out. If you live in Ontario, check them out, boltonfoods.com. Get the best food you can. That's the only way for your body to recover is to get those nutrients in. Thanks a lot, guys. Enjoy the rest of the video. Ready? One hundred kilo strict press achieved. Okay, I'll marry you now. You'll marry me? I'll marry you now. Okay. Nice. Secured the bag. Game of Thrones. We just started it. Never seen it before? No. How far into it are you? Uh, halfway through season one, I think. And what do you think? Out of ten? One of ten? Mm, I think it's about a seven and a half right now, but I'm someone who, like, I really need to know the characters well just to really like a show. So I'm still getting to know them. It takes me a really long time for something like that to sink in. I'm not particularly bright. But it's a pretty good show, all in all. Definitely keep watching. But last night we watched The Bachelorette, and they were supposed to, it was supposed to be the finale. And then at the end, they go tune in next week. So we're going to have to see who Gabby and Rachel get proposed to by. I'm partially worried about the, all the plates falling out as well. It seemed okay. Sweet. That's really good. Yeah, really, really good. Tell us your favorite subject in high school. Oh, um, biochemistry. Biochemistry in high school. 
Really? Yeah. Yeah, right. Drawing out the pathways and stuff? Yeah. Crab cycle. No, that was your favorite. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I can recite it now. Oh, give it to us. Yeah. Okay, no, now I'm nervous. I think, <laughs> wait, I'd have to look at it again, but I think oxaloacetate combines with succinate and then they go through all the stages. I don't want to lame them all because there's like 16 stages and it's really boring, but... And then it that, produces carbon dioxide and, um, and oxygen. And what happens to carbon dioxide? Uh, you breathe it out. That's right, okay. Paula. Very good. Very good. <laughs> well done. Yeah, yeah, I was late announcement for that one. Colin Bryce called me. I said, please, please. I don't know what we'll do without you. <laughs> no, I wasn't invited. And then they spoke to me at, uh, after Cardiff and asked if I'd want to come. And I, I had a big back half to the year already between Shaw, Canada, uh, Arnold UK, and uh, Rogue Invitational. And then uh, rode off Canada's. And look, the position that Giants was put in, a lot of guys weren't able to do it for one reason or another. And as athletes, we have to support the people who support us. And from my perspective, me going out, supporting Giants, helping to be part of a really good show, um, it, it benefits me as an individual because I love going there, I want to be there. Really fun being about, uh, amongst the crowd. But it also helps the sport next year and the year after to have high quality guys uh, at every show. And nothing against any of, the, any of the other guys invited. There was just a lot of really high quality guys that, that had to drop out for, for various reasons. Uh, so to play a very small role in making that up to put on a really good show. Uh, yeah, just doing a very, very small part uh, to try to help strongman along the way. Yeah, right. You just want to bring home that first place. I do. That's a... Interesting comp though, I mean, and the field is, is very interesting as well. Like, uh, Pablo Cordiac, uh, I reckon it's me and the two Pablos on the podium on that one. They're, uh, yeah, and you couldn't have two different body types, those two. Handsome Pablo and wide Pablo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You reckon if you pitched against me, I got a 10 minute warm up with you pitching to me. Then we had a proper at bat. What do you think the odds are that you could strike me out? If Brad teaches you a proper baseball swing, zero. You don't reckon you could strike me out? If Brad taught you how to swing properly, no. Why not? Because I feel like if you made contact, it's going 700 feet. Yeah, but you don't think you, you, don't think you could get me to swing I think, and miss? I think I could blow a couple by you, but yeah. I think ultimately you would win if you had a proper swing. Good man. That's, that's someone with confidence. <clears throat> uh, I find it way more intimidating when a competitor honestly says what they think they can't do than someone who just bravado says that they can do everything better than anyone else because you know they're just talking shit but when someone really knows what they can do and what they can't do that's scary On it, I lo love Cerberus big fans but no comparison this soft belt is, is phenomenal. This and the, and the uh, nylon belt combined, it really, there's no need for a, for a hard leather belt. Um, yeah, yeah, I've been very impressed across the board and I wouldn't lie, it's not really worth it to lie. Um, but it's just thicker, it's hard to describe until you get your hands on it, but uh, yeah, like, when I do 100 kilo for reps, I won't even bother with the hard belt because I'd rather just breathe into this guy. So yeah, I'm, I'm impressed. Brian, Brian's done well. For those who have already subscribed to my Patreon, thank you very much. Uh, really trying to put out as much educational content as I can on there. This week, I'm putting out a video on my tips and tricks for the Monster Dumbo. 
I've gone from 110 kilo PB to 120 for three in the span of three, four months. And a lot of it's being around the guys who are the best in the world, picking it up off their experience, asking them what they do. Uh, so if you want to learn more about that, have, head over to my Patreon link in the description. So folks, this is uh, Melanie Forger, now Melanie Williams, recently married, and she is full-time kinesiologist at the clinic. Mel, how are you? I'm fantastic, how are you, Mitch? I'm good. So tell us, what was the most challenging interview question that you were asked? Definitely gotta be the math question. He asked me right off the bat, flat out, what's 25 times 25? <laughs> a little bit to troll and a little bit to find out how people react when they don't know how to react, <laughs> when they don't know the answer to something. Mel, what do you think the best part of the job is, working at the clinic? It's hard to limit it to anything, Mitch. It's been great so far. I think, for me, interacting with people and clients and just seeing how motivated they are in the gym motivates me even more. Mel, was, Mel had a few clients in a row yesterday. She's only been here for a week and a half or so, and she was buzzing, buzzing like I've never seen. Now, the most interesting thing about you is no coffee. Nope. Really, no caffeine at all. Nothing. Yeah, crazy, still so much energy. And final question, what's the most challenging part of the job so far? The most challenging part? Yeah. I haven't, have we gone to that yet? I don't know, a lot of it's quite challenging for me. Um, I would say learning the business piece side of it. So putting myself out there, getting to know strategic partners and um, getting those projections that are gonna be coming my way soon. But yeah, that's gotta be the hardest part for me so far. Yeah, so one thing we do is we have all of the practitioners that have an element of helping to grow the business, so they learn all aspects of it. Now, Mel, the thing that people really want to hear, and you, you have full permission to be honest, I'll speak to you as a friend right now. Okay. What is the worst part of working for me? The worst part of working for you? Yeah. Oh, there is nothing. Oh. I love it. <laughs> Week and a half in. We'll check back in a couple of months. <laughs> all right. That's Mel. Thank you. Enjoy your workout. I forgot to tighten my elbow sleeve. Bet you didn't think I was going to get that second one. <laughs> I'm supposed to do eights with that. 105. <laughs> it ain't happening. Maybe in comp? Not here. <laughs> well, sometimes. You're just not capable of what they want. For me, uh, it takes so much out of me. Down to the shoulder, eccentric curling down. Doing that eight times with 100 kilos, it's just, it's not on.
about body composition? Body composition? Yeah, how do you feel about your body composition right now? Right now? Yeah, compared to like previous sports and stuff. Do you think much about it, like when you look in the yeah. mirror? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually can't really even look in the mirror. <laughs> um, I, I, it's not something I've ever been happy with. Bodybuilding, marathon running, powerlifting strongman. I've never been particularly impressed with it. But the most valuable takeaway for me after doing bodybuilding, when I still felt out of shape, I still felt fat, you sort of realize that that feeling ain't going anywhere. So focus on performance outcomes rather than aesthetic outcomes. Strength sports have been really good for me in that way. I tend to think it's a feminine characteristic to care too much about that stuff. But I think everyone wants to look good. A lot of the time, men just don't really want to talk about it. Uh, but yeah, if I'm, in, uh, if I'm in the bathroom in the mornings, I'll uh, open up the cupboard, set the, I don't have to face the mirror. Yeah, a bit funny with that stuff, to be honest. I wouldn't guess that. I know, I know. A lot of people wouldn't guess a lot of things about me. I'm very shy. By nature, super, super shy. <clears throat> but that's why I got out of my way to do things that put me out there. Because it's all about making yourself better. However you can do that. Find a weakness and improve and repeat and that's life. Maybe we take the girls on a yoke ride today. That'd be good for the ground, wouldn't it? If we could get four of them. I reckon it'd be good for the gram to get one girl on each of the four pegs. What do you think? It's a bit douchey. It's very douchey, but do I have your permission? <laughs> sure. Okay. Could you uh, just be close and watch when I do it? With two other girls? Well, I'm going to do it with four, so I have to oh. get four others, and then you can watch. Sure. So Don't, no, you'll be one of them. Don't worry. You're my top four. Okay. At the gym right now, you're ranked number three. <laughs> Stand on it. Hold on to there. I'm going there. I feel like I'm going to fall. I'm there. I'm going to fall. Yeah. Ready? I'm going to hold on to this. <laughs> well, How was that? that was good. That was good. I've been uh, actually. I'm not. I'm not going to make any comments at all. That was good. <laughs> actually, why don't you give the goodbye? Thank you. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more Road to Road. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I can't do it. This is your thing. Say, do it. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more Road to Rogue. Like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Road to Rogue.